Hey guys, welcome to the final openings um, for our Christmas run. Uh, if you've seen this, it is December 25th here in Australia. And yeah, over the course of the day, these videos will be up. And hopefully you'll have something to watch after all your festive things have all died down. So enjoy. Um, we have three openings to do. Uh, so three videos. Uh, we have Mystery 1, Mystery 2, and Mystery 3. So three biggish boxes. So we'll open one of each in each video. So um, depending on what's in that, it might be an extra video, uh, but they'll all be up today. So keep an eye out, and um, yeah, let's start off. We'll go with this one. So we'll just open it up. And we have a Pokemon Plasma Blast Elite Trainer Box. So that is cool. So this set is, I'm almost completed it, still, I've been on the very edge of completing it for about three months now, I've just been too lazy to go and get the extra cards. Um, so maybe I'll get them in this, who knows. So, Elite Trainer Box, uh, for those of you who are unaware of the word Fat Pack, uh, Fat Pack was in well, first introduced in Magic the Gathering, another card game, um, which basically meant this kind of box of goodies for a card game kind of thing. Um, so in this box, the Elite Trainer box, you get eight black and white Plasma Blast boosters, 40 TCG energy cards, two acrylic condition markers, so plasticky markers, thick plastic, um, six damage counter dice, a legal coin flip die, so it just means it's a dice that is clear. Um, a player guide, which I believe shows the cards in the set, um, except for secrets. A uh, 65 Pleasant Blast card sleeves, four dividers, and a collector's box to hold everything. So, let's get straight into it. Um, if you want to read the back, go ahead and pause that. So everything on here is what you get. So that's pretty cool. I do like Genesex, so that's awesome. Okay, all the packaging out of the way. This is the player's guide. So just talks about what they believe are the top cards. Some of the EXs, some of the cards in, and then you have your checklist, which shows every card um, in the set, so you can check it off if you want. Uh, it's just a guide, so you can quickly look cards up if you're deck building, rather than looking around in your folders. You can just pick this up, go, oh yeah, there's, there's a little bangle, that's what it does. Okay, I need four of them, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it does show the secrets, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then it's got just some ads for Pokemon TV, Play Pokemon, which is League, um, so that's cool. And then, yeah, that's about it. So, this is the storage box. Um, I believe they call it a collector's box. Um, it's just a thick card. So, thick card with just Genesect lines all on it and that. So, yeah. Uh, more packaging, so you can actually close your collector's box. We have our boosters, which is all over the place. Uh, okay, let's just move some of these things out of the way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have our sleeves, which is the same as the deck box artwork. 
uh, these are our damage counter dice and our coin flip dice with Genesect, um, well the set logo I should say, as the ones. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is the acrylic um, damage counter markers, uh, not damage counters, uh, status markers. So they're just thick plastic for burn and poison. Um, the dividers, which are, are kind of a... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a plastic, but it's like recycled plastic kind of stuff. It's it's weird. Um, again, set and the silhouette on either side. You get four of them, so they're good for your um, storage box for separating cards if you want to do that. Uh, we have our energy, which I've always believed is a disappointment that they've um, used these kinds of energies and not the black and white designed ones because it is a black and white set so you'd assume they'd use the checkerboard designs but obviously not. Um, so you get five of each energy. Um, in my opinion I wouldn't say this is good for getting energy only because most decks require more than five energy to work um, but you get five of each so that's good and you get a whole bunch of extra stuff if you are just starting out. You get sleeves, you get dice, status thingamajigos, uh, you get cool storage box, um, you get boosters, so that's always plus. So if you're starting out, um, I'd suggest getting one of these. Um, they can get expensive depending on what country you're from, um, but they're worth it. They've got the value, and you get a good um, bunch of stuff to start off the game. Um, so maybe pick up one of these and maybe a theme deck, um, so yeah. Right, um, what were we doing? We'll just chuck these little gadgety things back in, including our energy and our dividers. Lose it, push to the back. Okay, and we have our eight... Yep, eight plasma blast boosters to open. So we'll get straight into that. So out of this entire set, I'm only looking for four cards. Um, so if I don't get them from here, I'll just hold off. Um, maybe trade some friends eventually. So one, two, three, one, two. Um, but I might go onto eBay, buy the cards I need eventually. But yeah, there. <laughs> we have Gullet. Snurrunt, Axew, Machop, Bagon, Ursaring, Ultra Ball, Arkan, Kangaskhan Reverse, and a Caracosta Rare. So we'll just put the Rare in Reverse up there. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, we have Lapras. Tanamo, Remoraid, Sock, Surskit, Octillery, Machoke, Tropius, a Selgore Reverse, and a Salamence Hollow. Nice. I hope I did that right. Oh. We have Drifloon, Tynamo, Sock, Kangaskhan, La Vesta, Reversal Trigger, Totoga, Electric, Snow Reverse, and Houndoom Hollow. Okay, we have La Vesta, Porygon. Tediosa, Solosis, Handor, Chatot, Professor Juniper, War Turtle, an Angie Retrieval Reverse, and a Cradilly Rare. One, two, three, one, two. 
We have Sock, Seskit, Aron, Drifloon, Kangaskhan, Glalie, Mushana, a Silver Bangle, a Frostlass Reverse, and an Azelf Rare. One, two, three, one, two. We have Muna, Solosis, Snova, Drifloon, Tanamo, Octillery, Fracture, Lilip, an Iris Reverse, and an Escavalier Rare. Two packs to go. One, two, three, one, two. We have Solosis, Handoa, Lapras, Tynamo, Remoraid, Glalie, Caitlyn, Pokemon Catcher, Salamence Reverse, and a Cray Dilly Rare. And our last pack. So far, nothing that I need. Let's see what we get. We have Carablast, Remoraid, Ducklet, Surskit, Lapras, Relicanth, Silver Mirror, Machoke, a Gullet Reverse, and a Spirit Hollow. So, overall, um, a little bit disappointing, but it's boost packs. Um, these things happen. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lackluster kind of ending, but... Oh. We did get some Reverse Hollows, which is good. Um, obviously, these will all go into my Trade Binder. Maybe leave the reverse trainers for myself, but that will be pretty cool. Um, we did get a few hollows, so three hollows and a whole bunch of rares. Um, all of these will be up for trade um, eventually. Uh, obviously, I give my league uh, first shot at my trade, so I'll make a trade video sometime in the new year. So, um, Keep an eye out for that. And yeah, overall, I'm, I'm happy with this. I was meaning to get one of these for so long and finally did get one. Um, overall, pretty good. I'm happy. Um, so, X and Y TCG set comes out in early February. Um, I believe there are going to be two uh, Elite Trainer boxes coming out. One for Xerneas, one for Evertel. So, save up, um, get both. One will be red, one will be blue, so that'll be cool. Um, they should all have the exact same contents as the Plasma Blast ones, but with X and Y designs on them. Uh, so, yeah, depending on if you like one or the other, or both, might be time to start saving. Pre-releases, I believe, start in Australia the first weekend of February. So, check with your local store to see if they're hosting an event. Uh, for the rest of the world, I believe America gets them two weeks prior. So, mid-January they start, maybe. Um, I'm not too sure on them. But, awesome set coming. Um, lots of powerful cards. Some interesting new EXs, which they've already started announcing including uh, Skarmory EX and Molga EX, so that's pretty cool. A um, few full arts, um, but yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, stay tuned for the other two openings. They will be up shortly. Um, and have a happy and safe Christmas, and Boxing Day, and New Year's, and all that. And see you in 2014. I don't know why I'm signing off this way because I've still got more videos to put up. So see you for the next video. Yay!